and welcome to the show where I show you how to grow my Tibetan Terrier, a very healed Tibetan Terrier. So where I left off last night, I thought there's so much hair on this boy that um, I'm wondering if it's going to take more than a week to do it, but whatever happens, whatever comes, I'm going to be live up doing it because I wanted people to have a record of me grooming Obi from beginning to finish. So what I've been doing is tonight, I've just, uh, just been starting with the comb because I want all the hair going in one direction so that when I cut it, it's a lot easier. So basically I'm just using the double tooth comb because it dematches well and it's very gentle. I just want it all going one way. I want to try and get as much of the back done, but I think it's going to take more than a week. I didn't realise he, he is so hairy. It's unbelievable. But I will be using the, again, the comb just to set a length. Really, I should be paying more attention to over this side. I don't know why I'm not going after it. But I just want to try and cut, cover this area first. I think also the reason why Obi's behaving the way he does, because he's not normally like this, as you know, he is a very chill character. I like the noise of this. But I wonder, because his hearing is so much more sensitive than mine, what does he actually hear? I don't want it too long, but I don't want it too short either. I just want to take it down a little bit at a time. And I find back combing quite helpful. I don't want to go beyond the neck, so I'm being very careful. I, that's why I've been doing a lot of brushing, so I know exactly where to stop, which will be roughly about here. Then the rest of it is just doing all the thinning. I'll show you ways of thinning uh, out as well, but also this is also going to be coming into the long hair region. And I want to make it look like it's a, it's a gradual build up. <laughs> Always making sure, I mean, if you can get the comb through, you know you can make the cut. Alright, if the tangle's right up at the edge and it's outside of the zone where you want to cut, that's okay, but if 
you want to pay particular attention to the sides, try and comb always in the direction the hair wants to naturally move. And with Oberon that's all different directions. And as I'm moving up towards the shoulders, I'm making my cuts that little bit longer, that little bit longer, so it's thin, and it just gradually comes up to the big fluffy mane. Now what I want to do, especially along the ridge here, I want to leave the hair that just that little bit longer, because it will give it a more streamlined look, but also give them a ridge back look. I'm starting to learn the technique between using these together. Using them together, if you slide it just right, it helps with the cut. But it means to get right up against the, the metal of the actual comb, but it really does allow me to do a lot, much more neater cut. But just that little bit there, as long as I can get it up to the blades, and get the angle just right, it will cut. Unless I can reach it. So I need a little bit more up here. Right enough, I think if I clean out the comb every now and then it will help. That's it, that's the technique. Somebody said to me, doesn't the hairs irritate you? I goes, what do you mean hair irritate me? He says, well, some people have got this natural a reaction to dog fur. I says, well, the thing is, Oberon's a Tibetan terrier. He doesn't have fur. He has hair. You have to cut it. And me part of good husbandry is being good with the grooming. I mean, I'm a complete novice. But I'll get the confidence that I'll do a good job. And also, the grooming is just, it's a bond maker. I get more bonded to Oberon. And he gets more bonded to me because he knows that he's, um, his needs have been looked after. Anyway, a bit of good news. I've got I've got a contact from Ollie and he's gonna come and see me next Thursday. So hopefully he'll help me with the appointment to the dentist. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling all the hair down, just combing it. I want you to get a line so when he's standing up I can start to see the shape of the line. And then from there just start to fashion it, take it down bit by bit, bit by bit. That's why I think it's got to be a lot longer job than a... It's got to be a lot longer job than just um, a week. Because I want to do it nice. But yeah, let's get started on these legs, mister. Let's get started here. 
that at that corner. Wait. I will put you on the frame. Just saying. Do what you want to do. Hmm? I like how you be as calm as possible. Because <laughs> you've got these little sudden moves, yeah? This is another reason why it's going to take more than a week. Mm -hmm. What? You know what you've got? You've got a bit of... Um, ugly mat on your face. Mm -hmm. Did you think about cleaning your face? Just slipping. Just white cut it down just a little bit at a time. I'll let you have a kiss then. Bring your butt over here. It's just getting your right angle with the scissors. But it's like one of these things, once you realise that, oh, that's a, that's a trick I didn't realise, that you actually start to use it, so you become more prolific with it. See where the hair does its little natural turn, I want to let that go to streamline it as well. I'm only using my fingers because I know there's no, no skin there. Not taking too much off. Then I can get in with the comb. A little bit at a time. on the other finger. Yeah, see, I'm cack-handed. I couldn't use them in that other hand at all, even if I wanted to. Because one thing that's against me is this bees was right underneath as well. But I suppose maybe that I could use that like an anchor or something like that. Maybe there's a reason for it. And that's another reason for using this technique as it stops him from when he pushes back. <laughs> These are between each other, so there's no injuries ever. But it's just by uh, what direction the hair actually wants to move in. I don't know how some people can do 
here there's six or seven dogs. I mean it's challenging and it's good fun. That is good fun. But it's definitely not a job that's going to be done overnight. Unless you obviously want to go to crafts or something like that, eh? Hmm? You got another one there. Are you collecting these or what? That's the second one I've picked off of your face. Hmm? You looking for a treat, are you? I'll just give them a treat. <laughs> give them a five minute break. <sighs> so I hope everybody's have a nice midweek. And that um, it's all good. Don't particularly know what's going on. I know Liverpool won the UEFA Cup. Poor Arsenal. If Nicole's in there and Paul, I'm so, so, so sorry for you. My ex, my in, my ex in laws, they, 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 they were Arsenal supporters as well, so they're probably feeling the pain. <laughs> Of course, Celtic won the treble, treble. Well, big pause up for that, eh? That is the weakest pop up I've ever seen in my life. That's better. Goodness me. So, just give me a little break. Because I wonder, I mean, dogs here in a resonance much, much higher than a human. So even just my voice must sound like booming to him, like maybe he thinks I'm shouting at him. But naturally because I'm the camera's over there, I raise my voice up a little bit so hopefully you just can hear me. What? Does that mean I can get another bit of your back done, mister? Definitely going to take a lot longer than a week. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm studying Vedic Astrology at the moment. So if anybody's into Vedic Astrology, let me know. All right. He's dictating what side that I can do. Not on, mister. Not on. There we go. There we go, eh? That I've finally been able to get to his side for a change. I've taken the opportunity to get as much done as possible. So I'm just going down in layers basically. I'm, st I'm st starting from the top and working my way down. And I just want to cut off all as much excess hair as possible. But that's the other reason for combing. Is when I comb it, I can see exactly how long the hair is. It takes quite a bit of concentration because I'm 
and I want to try and stop the dreaded lines and it takes particular attention to detail Take me down a little bit, a little bit at a time. It really is working with the beast, isn't it? <laughs> you do look a bit cute though, Obi. Must admit. You have such a kissable face. Oh, what's that? Is that the photographs? Hmm? So I'm trying to make a little ridge back up here, a little point. See, you see here, it's a little bit wild. Which is good little spots on them. But it's really, it's, it's too many in the wilderness down at the bottom. It's going to be the most time consuming. I mean, I think the likes to the paws and stuff are going to be easy compared to getting him flat on his back with his paws up in the air. But we'll work on that, won't we? Hmm? We'll work on that. Look at that big head of chest. Come and say hello to everyone. Do you know what? I, I wonder if any of you actually seen his face tonight. Sit down. Sit. 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 I just only had to, to tell you about 15 times though, didn't I? He's very obedient, isn't he? It's around here, dum dum. <laughs> anyway, that's as far as I'm going to take it tonight. So, tomorrow, we'll be back at the same time up to the same antics playing the same little games so how to get treats and not do any work for it what do you think he's pineapple i must admit people um like seeing his eyes Especially when it's a nice sunny day and you can actually see the eyes. Other times they just look black, especially when you're taking photographs. That's why I've got the studio lights. I um, went to get my next camera. And um, I've got one at the moment. But it's not as versatile as my little sister's camera. I might ask her to borrow. Because I've got studio lights, so I want to take some really nice photographs of them. Especially for when we go on a little tour. We're definitely going to go to Cornwall, Devon, places like that. Use the buses and just camp out at camping grounds. Take Kobe around some of the sacred places and videotape it like a, a walking blog. Yeah, a walking blog for you and me. Right, you can see the shape taking, but oh, what was that? That's because I moved, doesn't it? No. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all tomorrow. 
Night. <laughs> God bless and take care. Eh? You guys say good night, everyone. Say good night. Eh? Big eyes. Big eyes. Good night. Thanks for watching. Hello, Greta. Let me just say hello to everyone. Hello, Stacy. Hello, Misty. Hi, Chris. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Beverly. Claudia. Hi Jackie. Hi Cam, thanks for watching everyone. I'm getting the poor here.